Trading Box Technical Analysis Part 2. In this video I will show how to create a rectangle, trend line and horizontal line with technical analysis indicator and also how to change the styles, rename the objects, display texts and so on. So let me just begin how to create a rectangle. Here with these buttons, when I click one of these buttons, for example this one, the rectangle is created. If I want to change the color, then I can click other buttons and the color is changing. If I want to create another rectangle, I unselect this one and maybe click here empty and the empty rectangle is created. Also the color can be changed. But as you can see, when you change, the style is of the line is also changed. So the colors and this style can be changed here in the input parameters. So here the colors can be changed. I can change this to maybe blue color and here empty rectangle line style. I will put solid or maybe dash dash and that's it. So now when I changing this it is dash style. And here I have a new color for this rectangle here. And also, yes, these colors can be used for the extended rectangles. So if I extend this one to the future, I can also change colors and also styles. I will leave this blue color for now. To create a trend line or horizontal line, these two buttons are used. The setting for this is here, indicator settings, here below. The trend line default color is red and default horizontal line is blue. Solid style for both, maybe I change this to dash and the size 3. And if I now create it, it is dashed and the width is 3. To create a horizontal line, also click this button and horizontal line is created. These color buttons can also change the trend line colors, like you can see black, blue, red, and also the horizontal line can be changed the color. The width of the lines can be changed with these buttons here, 2 and 4. I select one object, click 4 and the width is changed. Also we have here in the input parameters, it is now 2 and 4, I can change this to 1 and maybe 5 and values are changed and this can be now changed to one and this width of rectangle changed to five. Next interesting thing is that we can display the text of the objects. So we use this text button to display text right here or maybe here. Also for the trend line I can show text in the position I want let's see here and that's it. The size of this text can be changed in the input parameters. We go here text font size change to 11 and the color of the text font can be changed let's say to blue and the color and size of text is changed. The last thing that I want to show and it is really great one, it is this rename function. So with one click I can rename the name of the object. I can say let's say this is SND level and it also give me a tag of the time frame where I click it. Also rename the trend line, maybe fake resistance and that's it.
So this list of these presets. Rename buttons can be changed here. And if I want to disable time frame tag, I click this to false. So now, as you can see, when I click rename, I have this changed. And time frame tag is not anymore here. That's all for this part 2. Please subscribe to see part 3 when I will upload it to YouTube. Happy trading and see you guys.